Sneaky Lounge back. Just a quick update on what's been happening. Okay. As you can see, this is not Sabian, is it? No. No, no, no. It's not even Arch. This is Linux Lite. Now, the reason why I'm booting with this at the moment is for the simple reason the other two distros that I tried before don't like my hardware. I know. And it's not even that old. Okay. I built this system 18 months ago. Okay, at the moment, at the time, it was on the cusp, shall we say? Okay, so it's a 5960X as my CPU on this machine. We have 32 gigabytes of RAM. I've got another four sticks to make up to 64 if it runs nice. Okay, 64 bit version, by the way. But Sabion and Arch just didn't want to play ball with the hardware eventually. Okay, Sabion booted nice. Installed in about four minutes, which is you know, unbelievable. The updates took around about an hour. And then I had to edit a config file. And obviously I chose the wrong one. Okay. And then it didn't want to boot into screen because the NVIDIA graphics drivers didn't want to play ball with it at that time. As with Arch, I went for the XSC version of Arch. Okay. It was fine. No audio. So I'm hanging out at... The Arch one is just my bit of a problem that I haven't just got around to doing. So I've just all the hard drives in the machine. I've got four hard drives in the machine at the moment. So what I'm going to do is play around with them for the time being and to see if I can get them to run as I want them to, basically. But out of the box, Linux Lite is the only one that would recognise everything, install everything, update everything, and do what I want to do. I'm recording on it now. I'll be editing on this in a few minutes' time, obviously. Okay. I've not installed too much here because I've not long finished it, okay? Because I spent most of the time with Sabion, to be honest with you. It wasn't the install, as I said earlier. It was just, oh my God, the updates that I knew was going to take a long time. I knew it was going to take a long time. Yes, I did know it was going to take a long time. But once you get them updates done normally in Sabion, because I've run it before, once you get it done, it's super duper. But I didn't get the chance, which is a bit of a bummer, really. So anyway, all I've installed here basically is Audacity for audio, of course. I've not even put all my music on here, nothing like that. OBS works super fine. This is the basic open shot that really needs to be upgraded. I need to install Caden Live as well as some other video stuff, okay? And simple stream recorder, which we're using here at 60 frames a second, as you would, okay? I've not installed anything else. But it is really fast. That's all I'm going to say. And it's Debian Stroke Ubuntu based. Hmm. What does that tell you? So sometimes these developers that do these other distros, like Linux Lite, and he has been kind of a real long time, and I've done lots and lots of videos on his stuff, they get it right, and the main developers get it wrong. So obviously he needs a few beers in his way, if you know what I mean. So, yeah. What do you say? Yeah, that's all for this evening, mate. That's all I was going to say. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I was getting an actual headache, actually. Sneaky wife turned to me and said, Are you all right? I went, Rrr. No. Basically, at the end of the day, I wasn't very all right. Because it just wasn't working how it should do. But we'll work on it. And what we'll end up, what we'll end up at the end of the day is we'll have four distributions on the same machine. And it's your poor Unky Dory. Uh, it's a real pity I could get Sabion to work properly, but we're working it over the weekend. I don't think so. Yeah. Sneaky Linux out. Passy those, passy